Are you looking for the best possible mask that's available in the market? Then look no further because in this video today, I'll be showing you guys one of the most expensive masks that I have ever purchased. Let's get started. Hey what's up guys, hope you're doing well, I'm Ashish back with AJ Techno Freak and in today's video I possibly got one of the best mouse that you can purchase right now in the market. So this is from the company called Logitech which most of us already know about and this is called the Logitech MX Master 3 and which is specially designed for Mac. But even though it says it's only designed for Mac, I have tried it with the Windows laptop and it works well with the Windows laptop too. So regardless of whether you have got a Windows or a Mac, it's gonna work with both worlds. But before thinking of making a purchase, make sure that your device is compatible with Bluetooth devices because this only comes with the Bluetooth capabilities and doesn't include a dongle so if you don't have a Bluetooth capable like device then it's not gonna work well so if you don't have a Bluetooth capable Windows or a Mac then better go with this one so this one is called the MX Master 3 so the difference between MX Master 3 for Mac and this one is it comes with a dongle so you just can plug this thing into your device and work without any problem and you don't need a Bluetooth capable device to use this particular map so that's the only thing that I would suggest when you are thinking of buying this device but if you are planning to get the MX Master 3 for Mac then it's gonna work well with the Windows side too but I don't know why they say it but maybe some of the features is only available with the Mac whenever you are using this MX Master 3 for Mac so that's why they like especially release this particular model which is like gonna work really well with your MacBook so without any further ado let's go ahead and unbox this product and see what you get inside and whether $150 that I spent on this particular mouse is worth buying just for comparison I'll just show you here so these are the two mouse that I used to use in the past so this one is from a company called Rappo and this is from the Dell. So for the pricing, this one I paid $15 and this is $150. So for the price of this one, I can buy 10 of these and probably around 8 or 9 of the Dell mouse. So it's really expensive and we'll be finding out whether that $150 is worth spending on the Logitech MX Master 3. So the main reason that I got this mouse was for the side scroll wheel which is gonna help me out to scroll through the timeline much more conveniently rather than using the trackpad and also like for the ergonomics look at the size difference so it's gonna fit really well with my hands and it's gonna make my job much more easier so let's go ahead and unbox this product and see what you get inside and we'll go from there all right so here i have got my mouse that's the mx master 3 and this is especially designed for the mac and you can also use this with your ipad if you want to but it's better off with the mac that's the reason why i got this one so let's go ahead and unbox this product but before that let's see what kind of features that this particular mouse has so as you can see comfort and support work faster for your mac and precise tracking on any surface so track and glass so you can also use this on your glass surface without any problem so let's go ahead and unbox this product there we go so that's your mx mask 3 for mac from logitech so let's see what you get inside so this particular model is the space gray version and that's the new color option previously they used to have like something like all black but this one is uh, space gray and black and as i have got my uh, space gray macbook pro uh, that's gonna fit well with my macbook and let's see what else is inside of the box so that's your USB-C so USB-C to USB-C cable to fast charge your uh, mouse and if I look at the battery life uh, I think this is somewhere around let me see so USB-C charging 8 hours with 3 minute quick charge up to 70 days with full charge so 70 days uh, it's around 2 months and 10 days something like that so that's pretty much good for the mouse 
and also includes the USB-C to USB-C cable to fast charge your mouse. So your user manuals and a couple of documentation and that's it for what you get in the box and let's see our mouse. So there we go. So typically scrolling wheel on the bottom also on the side of the mouse so that is gonna be pretty much handy whenever you are doing Final Cut Pro or any kind of video editing software and you have to scroll from side to side so rather than using the trackpad you can use this scroll wheel to go side by side you also get two buttons and one button up here and that's your left and right click and putting it on the hand it feels so ergonomic so basically it is designed in such a way that you can use this mouse for a long period of time without tiring your hands and that's the reason why I got this particular mouse even though it's pricey but if you are doing like hours and hours of workflow then this is gonna pretty much help to get the uh, strain out of your hands so got a nice grip over here and it feels kind of uh, I don't know how to say it but it feels kind of grippy so that uh, you don't lose control of your mouse and let's peel this off so it says on and that's Bluetooth and uh, MX setup so you can update this uh, version I don't think it's gonna be updated on the box so I might have to update this one so you can also switch it between three devices simultaneously so easy switch so let me peel this off and there is your button to switch between different devices and that's your on and off button that's your sensor and nothing much in the bottom so it feels good on the hands let's see how it functions with my Mac so I'm currently recording my audio with the help of my MacBook so this is gonna run on the background and let me pair this mouse with my MacBook you turn this thing on there we go it says one and go to Bluetooth preferences and there we go it says MX Master 3 Mac connect and we're already ready to go so keyboard setup assistance continue if you don't know the keyboard type contact the manufacturer so I'll just do this one for now it's done and we're connected so this is how it sounds on the clicking of the MX Master 3 so it feels satisfying and that's the scroll wheel so you have got two functions so you can like manually scroll through if you want to or if you like swipe it really fast it's gonna go all the way to the bottom so I think you can also change that uh, with the help of this button over here so once you click this one it's gonna go down to like slow uh, clicks so it's not gonna be that rapid and once you switch it to the other it's gonna be going really fast just like that so one click that kind of change to normal the, your typical like all the style uh, clicking scroll wheel or if you press the button again then it's gonna go to the rapid one so I'll just show you in the Chrome how this actually works so I got this uh, web page over here so I was just looking into how you will be editing uh, the audio and stuff so see that so it goes rapidly down to the bottom and if you want to change it to like slow nice pace so you can do that too so now it's like a old style where you go nice and slow on your laptop it's gonna go nice and slow but if you want to go like rapidly if you are reading long documents and you don't want to go through all of them then you click this one and it's gonna be so much rapid that's the function uh, that this particular mouse has and I'm just gonna go into the Final Cut Pro to see 
how the side scroll function works on this mouse. So I got this project over here. So there we go. So if you are scrolling side by side, usually you would use your trackpad to go side by side just like this. But this side scroll wheel is going to help you out to go from side to side on your project and you don't have to use the trackpad. So especially when you have got long projects, you don't want to be going through like trackpad and time and again move here and there and uh, this is scroll wheel is gonna save you so much more time and it's much easier to do this way rather than using your trackpad and it's like your natural position where you will be placing your hand on the mouse so comparing that to my previous mouse it's just like you place it on here and it is like different it feels like it uh, goes well with the shape of your hand and this one has like a smaller surface area so you're losing that feel that you get when placing on this bigger mouse so comparing the size it looks like way bigger than the wrapper mouse and it's like twice as the size but also like 10 times more money so it better be worth it installing logitech options Alright, so we are on the welcome to MX Master 3 for Mac, continue, so that's your Mac speed scroll wheel, we also get this mode shift button, so click to manually toggle between ratchet and free spin mode, so that's called ratchet, so that clicking sound that you get, and gesture actions, so click and hold the button as you move the mouse to use gestures, so you go up for the mission control switch between desktops so you gotta press the button over here and when you go up you have got sensors so there you go that's your mission control and if you wanna switch between desktop there is a button right here so you press you go on the side to switch between desktop and app expose next and thumbs wheel so you scroll horizontally with the gentle turn of the thumb wheel. So as I have shown you previously, this one is basically for video editing. That's the reason why I got it. You can use it for something else as well, which has got that horizontal uh, scrolling on the bottom. So you can use that on any kinds of app that has horizontal pages as well. So that's next and the horizontal scroll, see? that's gonna work with the Excel, Word and Photoshop or any for me it's gonna be uh, photo editing and video editing so next predefined settings so continue to install so we have predefined settings for 7 apps the remaining applications seem not to be installed on this computer so for now it has got for Final Cut Pro, Google Chrome, Excel and uh, PowerPoint, Word so all of the profiles is gonna be enabled and you will be able to use those functions with uh, the help of the mouse inside of the app so profiles install continue so you're all set back to options so if you wanna customize any of the things then you can use this particular app to customize as per your need so point and scroll so you can change the pointer speed scrolling speed and scroll direction is the standard one smooth scrolling disabled so let me see how is so it's I think uh, gonna help you out to go nice and smooth rather than uh, that uh, stoppage that you get whenever you are scrolling so let me switch that see that it goes nice and smooth and if I turn this off see that jitterness that you get so see that it's gonna stop but if I enable it's gonna be much more better so I'm just gonna leave it in enabled so thumb wheel speed how fast you want this thumb wheel on the side to be working so it's in the middle that's fine for me so you also get a smart shift smart shift sensitivity fixed scroll wheels mode that's a free spin or if you want ratchet you can do that so you can manually change it from here but I would prefer this button so you also get the flow 
seamlessly switch between two computers by moving your cursor to the edge of the screen and quickly copy and paste text images and files between them so that's gonna be really helpful like if I've got two laptops and I want to quickly copy one from another then it's gonna be easier so I'll just enable that even though I don't have that one for now uh, I think you need the another laptop as well to work so I'll just leave it there but there is the option for you guys if you want to do that so swap left and right and you also get the uh, Bluetooth icon over here and the battery icon and I think that's pretty much it for the app of the Logitech MX Master 3 for Mac and you can go into details if you want to but that's your mouse for your Mac it says it is especially designed for Mac and it's gonna work the best whenever you're using on the Mac but I can use this mouse with my Windows laptop as well if I have to but it doesn't have that adapter so if your laptop doesn't have the Bluetooth capabilities better go with the normal MX Master 3 rather than this one because that particular model comes with the adapter this is only gonna work if you have got Bluetooth on your laptop this is how you're gonna be charging this mouse so you got the USB-C port over here so you plug it in and you can use any kind of power adapter or even you can charge it with the help of your MacBook so that's gonna come in pretty handy and you're on a switch here and that's your MX Master 3 so I really hope that I can justify the price of this particular mouse by uh, getting the best result out of it so unless and until you are doing something productive and getting the best out of your mouse then I don't think it's gonna be worth it investing so I really like the color design so space gray as I said already this goes well with my MacBook and uh, it's gonna look really good on the setup so that's my MacBook space gray and that's your MX Master 3 so I really hope you enjoy the content today and it was a pretty much expensive one because uh, most people wouldn't think about investing so much money on the mass but as I need this for my video editing and uh, photo editing I got this one so if you want to check the price I'll try to find the best possible price that's available in the market and I really hope you enjoy the content today. So as you guys saw in the video, this mouse is a really capable mouse. And for the price point, I don't know if it's justifiable because it only comes down to you whether you can justify the price of $150. But if you are a creative professional who wants to speed up their process of video editing or doing different kinds of tasks on a regular basis, and the mouse is really gonna help you out because this is really ergonomic and which will sit really flush with your hands in a natural motion and even if you are doing something for a very long time your hands are not gonna be tired using this mouse and the thing that surprised me the most is the battery life I haven't charged this thing since the day I got it so I think I got it around six or seven months back I haven't been able to make the video for this one because I was doing something else so for six and seven months I use it for I think like one or two hours daily and for six months I haven't charged this thing so even though it says the battery life for 70 days that's around um, two months and 10 days I haven't had any issues regarding the battery I haven't even plugged this thing yet into my charger and the USB-C cable that came with the box it's sitting around there doing nothing so this has been like it's been around six months uh, one or two hours daily not that much but for that it's really like long-lasting battery life and even if you are a heavy user for 70 days of battery life it's really long so you don't even have to worry about that because you just can plug this thing in if you are using it for a very long time and forget about it that the mouse is even plugged in and if you are trying to use it wirelessly it's gonna give you around one to two months that's more than enough for most of the people so I think for these kinds of features as well as the additional scroll wheel on the side and on the top which makes it much more convenient to use I think for me the price is justifiable but it only comes down to you whether you think that $150 is worth spending on a mouse from Logitech so if you wanna see the another video for the MX Master 3 the regular version not the Mac one then do let me know in the comments below and I'll make this video for you guys and compare these two and whether or not it's like worth buying one or the other 
So I think it goes around 20 or 30 dollars less than the MX Master 3 for Mac. So I'll make this video for you guys if you want to see that. Do let me know in the comments below. And I guess that's it for today's video of the unboxing and the setup of the MX Master 3 for Mac. So if you enjoyed the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Ashish from AJ Technofreak and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, have a good one and peace out.